Hi there, welcome to Blackboard One, customizing your Blackboard course site. The inspiration for this movie was borrowed from a Blackboard tutorial on the Austin Community College website, written by Tina Buck, Instructional Design Specialist, Austin Community College. This movie was prepared by Jimmy D. Clark, Instructional Design Specialist, Austin Community College. For questions or comments, please contact me at 223-2117 or email me at jclark at austincc.edu. Ready to get started? Okay. Let's learn all about Blackboard. Do you feel like this poor woman at the start of every semester? You're teaching 150 students and you don't have time to get all your materials organized. So every day you walk into class dragging a cart filled with 50 pounds of paperwork. Don't despair. Blackboard is a convenient, easy to learn course management tool that will help you organize your course materials. This screen shows how your Blackboard course site looks when you log into Blackboard. All the courses you are teaching are enrolled in as a student will display under My Courses on the menu at the left. To open one of your courses, click its underlined link. A Blackboard course site is created for each instructor at ACC, even those who have never used Blackboard. This site is basically an empty container to which you can add only those buttons, areas, materials, etc. you need to teach your course. This screenshot shows the control panel, which you will usually open when you need to add or delete or modify the content of your course. Each category, such as content areas, shows the tools or buttons that are available at this time. For instance, Content Areas contains buttons or links labeled Syllabus, Course Documents, Assignments, and Schedule. You can add or delete or rename buttons as needed. You can change the style of your Blackboard course menu by opening the Control Panel and selecting Course Options, Course Design, Course Menu Design. You can set the menu style to buttons or text. Change the color and shape of the buttons and change the background color of the menu. To open the color picker, click the Launch Color Picker button. You can also change the text color of the menu. This screenshot shows the menu with the design changes we made in the previous step. The default green background has been replaced by a light orange background. The menu text is now black instead of white. Be sure you use a combination of menu text and background that have enough contrast to be readable on any computer monitor. Now we are going to add a new content area and to name it Textbooks. We begin by opening the control panel. Then we select Manage Course Menu, next Add Content Area. From the list of content areas we select one by highlighting it. If we wish, we may change the name of the new content area by typing a new name for it, such as Course Textbook. To add a new menu button, open the Control Panel. Select Course Options, Manage Course Menu, Add Content Area. Select the Content Area or Menu button you wish to add from the drop-down list. Return to the Manage Menu screen. Now the new content area textbooks appears in the list of menu items. That was easy, wasn't it? Not as much fun as eating a 12-inch pizza, but still easy. If we return to the control panel and look at the list of content areas, we see that the one we just added, textbooks, is now in the list. Wow, impressive, isn't it? If we like, we can change the order in which menu items appear. To do this, open the Manage Course Menu screen. Click the arrow next to the numbered list of the item you want to reorder and select the numbered order you want it to appear in. When we added textbooks, it was number 9 on our list of menu items. If 
we want it to be number 7, we simply click the list next to textbooks and select number 7. Much easier to do than to explain. Return to the Manage Course menu screen and verify that textbooks is now number 7 on the list. If we want to, we can easily modify the name of a button or menu item. Let's return to the Manage menu screen and change the name of the textbooks button to Course Textbook. Changing the name of a button is easy. Just click the Modify button and tap the new name in the Name field or Message box. Return to the Manage Course menu screen and look at item number 7. It should now be named Course Textbook. Each professor at ACC will want to add his or her faculty information such as name, phone number, email, etc. We add this information by clicking the Staff Information button under Course Tools on the Control Panel. You may have renamed this button Faculty Information. Now please click Staff Information or Faculty Information. When I click the Faculty or Staff Information button and open the folder, it is empty because I have not added my information. Let's add our information, which Blackboard calls our profile now. Click the Add Profile button and type the information you want your students to know about you in the Profile Information fields. Be sure the Yes button to the right of the Make the Profile Available option is checked. Return to the Control Panel or your Course Menu and click the Staff or Faculty Information button. The information you just added about you should now display for your students to read. Let's add an announcement to our course. As usual, we begin by clicking the Announcements button under Course Tools. This screenshot shows that we have clicked the Add Announcements button on the Control Panel and open the Announcements page and that we are ready to add a new announcement. Type the announcement in the message box. I suggest that you leave text type set to the default, Smart Text. If you want your announcement to display for the entire semester, leave the Permanent Announcement button checked. If you want it to display for a limited time, Click the Display After checkbox and change the date. Then click the Display Until checkbox and change the date. This slide shows what the announcement will look like to a student who clicks the Announcements button on the course menu. Next, we are going to add an event to the course calendar. If the calendar tool does not display on our course menu, we have to add it. To add the calendar to the course menu, first open the control panel. Click Manage Tools under Course Options and then click Tool Availability. Calendar should be listed in the list of course tools. Click the Available checkbox to the right of Calendar. When we return to the control panel, we notice that our course calendar button now appears in the list of course tools. This slide shows that our calendar is on the list of buttons in the course menu. Let's add an event to the course calendar. Begin by opening the control panel and clicking the calendar button under course tools. Click the add event button. The screen that opens shows a list of times displayed in half hour intervals beginning with 6 a.m. To add an event, click the Add Event button. Type the name of the event in the Event Name text box. Type a description of the event in the Event Description box.